tips and tricks for tandem pilots. Equipment. Use a reserve that will hold 10% more than your total takeoff weight, airbag harness for your passenger, and inox or steel carabiners on your main attachment points. Hard or soft. Use soft spreaders because you want to feel more integrated with your passenger, motorcycle style, you want your pack to be lighter, or you always want to be in the same position and not depend on your passenger's weight. Use hard spreaders because you want more leg room and space for your passenger to take advantage of your weight shifting capabilities and to use position shifting depending on the weight. Hanging stuff. Whether you have a camera, camera stick, flag, or whatever you may want to hang from your harness, do it on the opposite side to your reserve handle. Not only will it prevent from accidental deployment, but also it will not interfere in the case of an emergency. Have a checklist. Make a list in your mind of all your attachment points and things that need to be checked. Count them and perform a pre-flight check before every takeoff. Something like passenger right leg strap, left leg strap, chest strap, helmet, right carabiner, left carabiner, pilot, right leg strap, left leg strap, chest strap, helmet, right carabiner, left carabiner, reserve handle. That's 11 points, so perform your point checklist until it becomes an automatic procedure. Briefing. Remember that your passenger is putting their life in your hands. Your explanation should be clear and you should let them feel safe about what they're going to do but they also need to perform their tasks in order to have a good takeoff. Letting them know that you are trusting them to walk or run is very important. Know your wing. You should understand how your tandem behaves in different situations, how fast it goes up, how much you need to break it, how much brake it can handle before stalling, and how does it react to side corrections. You can practice all these behaviors kiting the tandem by yourself in light winds. And be honest, if you want to fly tandems, you should be able to do this. While performing a reverse launch, make sure your turning direction is on the opposite side of your reserve handle. Majority of harnesses have the reserve handle on the right side, so you should turn left to avoid accidental reserve deployment. In low or no wind. Set your canopy in a C shape, where the A lines are all tense when you are checking them. This way the canopy will be on shape a lot faster during inflation. Tell your passengers that you're going to start with a fast walk transitioning into a run. Have a clear point of abort. Remember that aborting a takeoff is a lot better than this. When on final countdown for takeoff, three, two, one, walk. Wait for your passenger to start walking first. If you push them, they feel like they're gonna be thrown down the cliff and are more prone to sit. On the contrary, if they feel tension on the system, they feel more secure. In strong wind, if you open up the trimmers to the faster setup, the wing will have less pull. Even if it goes up a little faster, you just need to be more gentle while pulling the A's. Again, this should be practiced in lower winds by yourself. If the wind is really strong, let them know that you might take a couple steps back. The important part is for them to stay on their feet and run when they're informed to. In flight, don't let go of your brakes. Learn to fly with one hand holding both brakes. This way you can do things like help your passenger sit properly or set up your camera without compromising your safety. Also, while holding your brakes, you can have a more stable flight which leads to less motion sickness for the passenger. Make the flight intuitive. The passenger is not ready for the motion they are going to experience. So if you let them know which way you are turning, talking to them and leaning to the side you want them to turn before applying the brake, they will anticipate the movement, which leads to less motion sickness. Talk to them constantly. They will feel more relaxed, and at the same time, you are able to notice if they're getting a pleasant experience or if they're getting nauseous or feeling uncomfortable in any way. Landing. Landing should be as tangentially as possible. To do this, you need to gather enough energy for a parallel flight to the ground, finishing with your full flare. Lift their feet. Before final approach, tell your passenger to lift their feet up until you tell them to stand. If you're coming in too fast, it's possible to land sliding. You don't want to end up flipping over your passenger. Have your trimmer set to medium speed. 
This will allow you to gather more energy and control your speed with your brakes to avoid the feared ballooning when backpedaling doesn't work. <laughs> support your passenger at touchdown. Set up your brakes so you can finish your flare and use your arms for supporting your passenger. This way, they'll feel like they're stepping out of the sky. And remember, all these tricks and tips can be practiced easily on your solo wing. Enjoy your flights.